So this is a tough time for everybody. Absolutely. Uh, especially a tough time for artists. Uh, I feel like artists are rising to a new level uh, because of what's going on and making, making a really important contribution. Tell me about this song that you've written. I was um, having a, 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 a chat with w one of my agents and, um, and, and I used a line. I said, uh, I said, I'll see you on the other side. Mm -hmm. She said, oh, oh, you know, that's a song title. You ought to, you ought to work on that. <laughs> we'll fight together for humanity. We'll stay the course and we'll have a victory. And I'll see you. I'll see you. We'll see you on the other side. made me a little teary. I think lots of things right now make me teary. So. <laughs> uh, but but it, there's a there's real great emotion behind the, the lyrics. Yeah, I, I wanted it to to be impactful. Yeah. And then I wanted it to also have a positive spirit about it that um, would uh, give people a, a sense of hope. Yeah. That in spite of the difficulties that we're experiencing right now, if we do the right things now, then we can get past this and move on, you know, into the next phase. Uh, here you started with a lyric uh, and, and wrote around it. Talk about that process. I had to wait on the inspiration to be moved by the, 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 the subject matter. Yeah. And you got to remember that while we're doing this, I'm working on an album too. And um, and so I had to had to jerk myself away from that, plug into this pandemic, and 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 think about what I could say uh, to people that would inspire them. Because you can't go, you can't go, you can't go, baby, baby, baby. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, when uh, after it's over with, I'll, I'll I'll take you out on a date and and you know we'll, we'll dance, and that's not relevant. You see, so. <laughs> so I had to had to come away from that. The ooh baby baby. Not a pop song. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's more of a cultural thing. Um, you mentioned you're working on an album. Uh, tell us a little about about that. The Miracles is a group that has such a rich history, uh, not just of course here in Detroit, but all over the world. Well, sure. Anything I do is an extension from my experience with the Miracles and working with Bobby Rogers for multiple years. Um, but when I, when I do something, I, I, I generally do it, uh, under my own, uh, brand. Um, but the history is the history. It is what it is. And, you know, you can't, you can't erase or forget what you've done. Uh, you can only expound and, and move forward. And I, and I try to, to do it with respect to the legacy, yeah. not to drop the ball, but to lift the ball up and, and, and take it to another height there are so many things that are going to be different in the world. And I worry a lot about, you know, things like concerts and uh, uh, other ways that we enjoy culture. How do we make sure that that survives? From my point of view, um, this is not as bad to me as it probably could be. I may be, you know, confined here. Uh, but I still can write. I can still create. I get to know who my family is now. So, you know, so that's a good thing is where I look at it. Um, you're going to look back at these times. Mm -hmm. You're going to be so busy and you're not going to have time to do what you're doing right now to, to actually get into yourself. Yeah. Get into the people around you, the people that, that you love. Reconnect spiritually with, with the, your family and your friends. Tell me what you hope uh, for this song and what it does and what it means. My aspiration for it would be that uh, people would listen to it and aspire. You know, we talk about, you know, the fight together. Uh, and at the end of the, the road, we'll have a victory. That's what I want them to, uh, to get out of it. See you. 